My name's Yana Ferguson and I'm studying classics, drama, English and I'm doing an EPQ on Greek tragedy. And do you want to tell us a little bit about the EPQ? Um, yeah, I think I chose the EPQ because um, it's quite multidisciplinary so it combines all of my subjects um, and I think that it was just something that um, really interested me because the particular EPQ that I'm doing is on kind of can we apply modern concepts like feminism um, to, you know, tragedies that were written thousands and thousands of years ago? Um, so definitely it allows me to kind of explore something from modern day, which I'm interested in, and kind of compare and contrast that to the classics, which I'm equally interested in. So yeah, it's good. Fantastic. And then next day, so after Dover Brooks, what, what, what's the kind of, what's life bring? Well, I think that... Um, I want, to do, I want to go on to university and study classics um, and I think after that I want to kind of pursue some research to do with that and hopefully go into academia and become professor or a lecturer um, but kind of the root of law is also quite interesting so we'll see what it brings. <laughs> and what, what um, obviously you changed for sixth form. Yes. So what made you change, what, what appealed to you about making a change for, to come here? Um, well, I'm originally from Ireland, um, and in Ireland it's all kind of single-sex schools with a religious foundation. Um, and I think the thing that appealed to me about Doverbrooks is just the kind of um, how liberal it is and kind of how open the lines of communication are between student and teacher. Um, and I also think that um, the kind of range of subjects that you can take here really suited me, um, because while I am interested in kind of more academic things like English and classics, um, I also have a really strong interest in kind of performing arts and drama. Um, so to allow me to do that kind of combination uh, was really ideal for me. So that's what attracted me. That's good. And obviously, you know, you're busy with your studies, but it sounds like you're around that you're doing lots of other things. So, so what, what have you done in the areas of performing arts or, or activities generally? Um, yeah, so I've done the school musical, which was Legally Blonde, um, which was a lot of fun. Um, and I also, just last night, did the spring concert, um, which was also, it was really nice to just see kind of your fellow students who are insanely talented in music, and it was just like a really fun atmosphere. Um, and yeah, nothing is discouraged, so you can get involved in literally anything that you want to. If you just want to sing a little song, or if you want to do like a monologue or something, it's really, really good. Um, and yeah, I also do quite a lot of debating, um, which I'm really interested in as well. Um, so we just recently competed in the Oxford International Schools, which was held at the Oxford Union. So that was a really good experience. Um, and yeah, it's just, you can basically do whatever you want, and that's great. <laughs> and what, so you're debating at the Union? Yes. <laughs> and what, what was the, what was the, the, the motion? Um, well, it was British parliamentary style. So we had a number of motions throughout the day, but I think they ranged from sort of like, should we arm the police force um, to, you know, the, this house would um, make all vacant properties state owned. And yeah, just a, a variety of things kind of from more um, topical political things to kind of really basic questions that we ask about our society. So yeah. Brilliant. Um, you obviously arrived with lots of talent and energy and all that <laughs> stuff, yeah? What do you think you've gained so far? Well, I think definitely, um, in terms of my subjects, and even like I have conversations with my teachers about this all the time, I think my style has just improved tenfold. Um, and I think that's really to do with the fact that the feedback that you get is so comprehensive um, and so kind of particularly aimed at you. It's not just like, oh, be more concise. It's specific areas where you can work on that. And I think that that's been really a valuable lesson for me. Um, because I love words and English, but it's kind of getting the right balance between, um, you know, sophistication and concise and what's kind of appropriate in an exam condition, which is really good. Um, and I think I've just learned that um, it doesn't particularly matter what you're interested in, that you can be literally friends with everyone. Um, and the kind of environment here is so um, conducive to that. And I think literally everyone just gets along. We're all in the common room. Um, and we can share and debate and discuss. And I think that's really healthy and a good environment. Wow. Um, before coming, you must be a bit nervous about some things. <laughs> yeah. What, what were you worried about? Uh, well, I'm a boarder, yeah. so I was a little bit apprehensive because I've never done that before. Um, but the kind of the whole team that in school, Hannah, the boarding staff, all made the transition really easy. And especially having so many friends um, was really, really good. Um, and what else was I nervous about? I think I was nervous 
that kind of from GCSE that the subjects are so reduced and you go into them a little bit more in depth than you do with other things. And I was kind of worried like, oh, will I remember? Will I retain all this information? Um, but it's fine because you get, you know, the appropriate study guides and all this kind of stuff. So it's definitely really, really good. Um, but yeah, I was kind of nervous about um, first name basis with the teachers as well. But after the first day, it well, definitely... What makes you nervous about that? Why is it okay? <laughs> um... I think what made me nervous is just from from past experience, it's always kind of definitely more of a, a formal setup. Um, but I think that what's unique about Dover Brooks is that even though it's relatively informal, you don't lose that level of respect. And I think actually you gain a certain amount of respect with that because you you feel as you you know you're being treated as an adult as well, and your opinions are being valued not only in the lesson but you know outside kind of um, you can go and ask any questions you like. Um, so I think I was nervous because it was just a change of routine, but I think it was definitely a change for the better. Interesting. So so I mean obviously every school is unique. It, it, it's, own, it's got its own kind of personality. And whatever. What what do you think makes from your experience kind of don't stand out then? Oh, um, what to choose first? I mean, I think it's just, um, as I've said, kind of like interaction with the teachers. I think it's also the range of subjects. But I think that, I mean, as soon as you walk in, there's just kind of this friendly vibe, if you will. And it's just, it kind of, um, it spreads throughout the entirety of the building. And there's just no one that you don't feel that you could go up to, either for a chat or to ask a question to. Um, and I think it's just somewhere where you can be as much yourself as you want and there's no limitations on that and everybody's really supportive of it, um, students and teachers alike. So yeah, I think it's really, really um, just a positive atmosphere and I think that's great. And um, what's being in Oxford like? I think it's fabulous because you get to um, go in and like you have all of these resources at your disposal. So you have the libraries, you have the bookshops, um, you have, you know, good kind of nightlife. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say that. Um, but um, yeah, I think the kind of, um, the balance between kind of um, work and you can go and pick up things that are definitely gonna help you with your studies. But also you can kind of go and just have a coffee with your friends. And I think that being in a city really provides that because there's so many things to explore. Um, and you can make new friends and you're always kind of exploring. Um, and even if you have maybe a free period, you can like nip down to Blackwells. Um, and I think that's just really nice because you it makes you feel as though you have independence and you can do things for yourself. And um, I can see you're busy in lessons and in music and drama, <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Is there enough to do, are there things to do outside of school, like at the weekends and things? Oh, definitely. Um, we're always kind of arranging. I mean, London's only an hour away, so we go there quite often. Um, or, you know, you can... I go out a lot with the boarders. We kind of go into Oxford, or maybe we just have, like, have a movie night in the boarding house. Um, and sometimes even, like, if we... Especially coming up to exams, we maybe have study groups. So if a few of us have, you know, a subject that we share, uh, we kind of sit down, make plan. Um, and that's really good. But, yeah, kind of extra stuff aside from that um, there's a wealth of things to do you never ever get bored so it's really good